Tip number 51. In your schematic, always create a cover page with list of pages and page numbers. These are actually two tips. Can you see them? What is the first tip? Always create a cover page. What is the second tip? With list of pages and page numbers. I'm going to show you an example, but uh, be careful because on this example there will be a lot of other information too. So for now, just ignore it. Okay. For now, just focus on the list of the pages and page numbers. Here it is. Yeah. So this is a cover page, the first page of the schematic of OpenRx project. You can see it here. And here is the list of the pages included in this project with the page numbers. Now, why I created this tip? Why I think this is important? Because I use it a lot. Yeah. And uh, maybe if you think a little bit, maybe you will find out that you use it a lot too. Imagine that you are drawing your own schematic yeah, and you need to check something in reference schematic. So you open reference schematic, usually it's PDF. And what do you do? If you need to find something in the reference schematic, what do you do? Because very often I just check these uh, pages which are here. I found I find the interface which I would like to check and I jump directly on the page what uh, I need to see. I know I'm telling you I'm doing it a lot, especially because I receive many, many questions about our project. So I know how useful it can be. And it also makes difference. Yeah. When you add cover page, it makes your schematic look more professional. All professional schematics, they, they have the cover page with the list of the pages. Really, have a look around, yeah? Have a look on schematics from Intel, AMD, and even the other manufacturers. They all include the cover page. So it not only makes your schematic look more professional, it makes you more professional. That's really important. I keep telling people, making or a lot of difference between amateurs and professionals is in the details. This is one of the important details what can make difference. So don't forget tip number 51 in your schematic always create a cover page with list of pages and page numbers. Why? It's the professional way to do it. Many people read and use the page numbers a lot.